So hey guys, today we're going to be looking at this Tasman. It is a clamp smart digital meter, uh, smart digital clamp meter, TCM 3000. Uh, we've done a couple other Tasman uh, uh, voltmeters. This one's a little bit different because it does have the clamp so you can check your amp draw. Uh, basically it's going to come in a box like this, opens up, it has a nice little carrying case. It's display, it'll have its user manual. Now I have opened this because I was testing it out, trying it. So I'm gonna tell you a few things that's gonna have when you first get it that mine doesn't have. This will be wrapped in plastic. I've removed the plastic of mine because there will three batteries will be included. You need to open up your back and put your three batteries in it. Now remember when you're done using it to take the batteries out so they don't sit in there and corrode. I don't know how often you'll use it, but they go in here. And then I'll also have your, uh, these, your leads so that you can check volts in outlets and things like that. So these will also be included. And that's all that you will get inside. And of course, this one has, I said, different from the other ones we've shown you before, this one has the amp draw. Here's the different functions that it has. You can check your current or your amps. You can check your volts. You can check your ohms. You can check your continuity. You can check your diode testing here. You can check your millivolts. You can check your frequency duty ratio. You can also check your capa capacitance tests on this. You can get a uh, temperature on this one. And this is your last setting. It's NCV live which is your non-contact voltage. So it checks all these different things for you. And it also has the ability down here, if you can put it on auto, if you put it on auto, it will automatically pick up what you're, what you're looking for. So if you're checking for amps, uh, ohms, whatever, this will automatically do this on this. You can set it manually or you can set it up automatically. So this is your main power button. After you get your batteries put in, Basically, you just hold this in, turns it off, turns it back on. It also has a little cover over top of this, just like you do on uh, phones and such. There's a little tab right here. You can pull that off if you want. I'm leaving mine on. And you want to turn it back on. You simply hold the button, and it comes back on. So, hey, guys, what I've done here is I've installed my two probes. Basically, you will pull this piece off the bottom here that's installed in here. They slide in. I have also removed my caps because I like to have more room to operate. So we're going to show you what we would do if you were checking your volts in a wall or in this case, we're using a battery. So you want to, you would, if it was a wall socket, of course, you plug both of these in. You're looking for 120 volts. For a battery, we're checking here. We'll see if this battery is still good. It has 1.631 volts. It's a AA battery. That's what it should have. So once again, check it again. 1.631 1 volts. So it's good. The other thing you can do, you can check it again. We're going to check our, our uh, resistance. So we're we'll check it here. Hear that? You see that light? It's green. You also see this, you hear the noise. So what that's telling you when you're checking is uh, your resistance is if you were checking a fuse, let's say you're checking a fuse, you wanna see if you got a good fuse or not. Uh, check your resistance, you'll check it. If you get the beeping sound in the green, that means your fuse is good. If not, you probably got a bad fuse. Um, it's one easy way to check it. I use the battery here, so it, it does double duty. It shows you in case I was checking a fuse or in case I was checking electric. If you want to set this unit to automatic, you just hold down on the red button that says auto until auto comes on. Then the machine itself will decide what it's checking for you. If you want to switch it back to manual, you push it once. Every time you push it, it will change setting for you. It will move to whichever one you want. So it's coming around, keeps checking. It's very simple to operate. And then, of course, if you are turning it on and off, you turn it off. Let's say you were checking an amp draw. You set it on amp draw. 
and you basically would hold this open, set it on the wire that you're drawing the amp from, like this, and then it shall tell you how many amps you're drawing. So if you've got a motor that is rated for, let's say, three amps, and you're pulling five amps, that means your motor is either going bad or there's something in it. It's not going to last very long because it's not rated for that high. It'll probably end up burning up. It's a good way to check like your uh, your blower motor for your furnace or uh, your initialization motor, the one that comes on when it first starts. So you can check your amp draw. That's how I, I used this just the other day because I have a three amp motor. That's why I was using this and I was pulling five amps. I knew my motor was getting ready to go bad. Ordered me a new one. That's the neat thing about this amp draw. The other ones we've shown you did not have that feature. So, hey guys, we're going to put a link in the uh, review below so you can uh, order one of these if you want. They're going to go over a few things about the Tesman unit that's nice. This is a very lightweight unit, only weighs a few ounces. You have your amp draw on this end. Basically, you just stick your wire through it. Let it hang there for a second. It will tell you how many amps it's drawing. If you got a motor that's pulling way too many amps, it's going to blow something. It's going to trip something or the motor is going bad. Uh, you can go ahead and get it ordered if you know that's happening. So that's an easy way to do it. It also comes with the probes that are easy to install down here in the bottom. Uh, they have the covers on them to cover them back up. It's nice. Um, comes with a nice carrying case. It's got a hard clamshell on the outside. Make sure you remember to take your three AAA batteries out when you're not using it. It's a nice unit. Also, inside in the instruction booklet, you have these scan codes in the front page right here. You have one for Tesman, Facebook, YouTube, and for TikTok. This does come in multiple languages, English, Dutch, French, Italian, Spanish, and Chinese. So, the unit itself does everything that a high-end, big money one would do at a fraction of the costs. So this is a highly recommended unit as far as econo economically, it is going to do everything that you're paying the big money for one, but it's going to do it for way less money. The Tasman unit, we will put the link below to purchase. Like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thanks.